Good day, me lords and ladies. It's Brother Bill from Preserving Our Baptist History, and I'm here at the Sterling Renaissance Festival. One original, five dollars. Yo, a sheet of meat. Thank you. Enjoy. Fifteen eighty five was when the Anabaptists were active, so yeah. and being persecuted. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, that was a lot of persecution. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've traveled back in time to fifteen eighty five. Fifteen eighty five was the time frame of the Anabaptists. At least that's what they were known by their enemies or those who opposed them. Anabaptist stands for rebaptizers because these early Baptists. They were the ones who rejected infant baptism and insisted that only believers should be baptized. And so the Catholic Church and the Protestant churches at that time said that because they did not accept infant baptism, they were re-baptizing their converts. The reality is they were baptizing them for, for the first time because when they were infants, that didn't count as baptism. That was meaningless. They were just unbelieving infants. They just got wet is all. Uh, we're here remembering our history and the Anabaptists suffered greatly for their stand on baptism as well as other doctrines. Uh, the rejection of the, uh, the real presence of the Lord in the Lord's Supper, that it was just for a memorial, things like that. That's what they were persecuted for, the rejection of the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, and their priesthood and all these many other things. But uh, the, the Anabaptists were literally the predecessors to the Baptists as well as the Mennonites and Amish. But uh, the, we're remembering their contribution to the Baptists. And if you look at their doctrine, that's, that's who they were. In fact, as time went on, the name Anabaptist fell into disuse and they just became known as Baptists. In fact, oftentimes in the literature of the period, uh, as far as the documentation, uh, usually of the persecutions of these people, uh, they often used Baptist and Anabaptist interchangeably because they were one and the same people. In the 1600s, the name Anabaptist fell into disuse and it, we became known as the Baptists. In 1609 is when generally that uh, the first Baptist church is recognized, but the reality is that we existed long before that uh, in terms of the Anabaptists and then also before them the Waldenses and many other groups down through history all the way back to the Apostles. So we have a long and uh, very colorful history and we're remembering that here today at the Renaissance Fair. We're uh, just remembering this time frame because it was important to our history as well. Thank you. I think it was country dance. Both the child's